Usually when we complete a project we haven't used all of the footage that we've shot or all of the stock media that we have downloaded or all the files that we thought that we might possibly need and as, as you can see in this particular example here there's very few of the files that are actually used in the final productions. So I'm displaying the video usage and the audio usage here just to see which ones are actually used in various sequences in the project. And in many cases, there's absolutely no value in me keeping all of the clips that are not used. I really only want to keep the clips that are used. So let's just jump into a temporary project and I'll give you a quick tip and an approach that I use to eliminate the ones that you don't need. Because the key thing is that as well as deleting them out of Premiere, you also need to delete the files themselves. Otherwise, they're still taking up disk space, even though they're not appearing in your project. So let's get into that temporary project and I'll show you how to do that safely. OK, so we're in a temporary project just for demo purposes. And there are some clips in this project that are not being used in any sequence. And therefore, there's no need for us to keep them. Now, it's important that you have these um, audio usage and video usage pieces of metadata displayed in your project panel so that you can see whether the clips are actually used anywhere or not. And in this one, I've got a clip um, that is not used, but this particular clip has a proxy attached to it. So I've also got right over at the right hand side of my project panel, I've got the, whether or not there is a proxy associated with this. And in this case, this clip there is, and then where that project proxy might be. So if we're going to eliminate these clips, first of all, for clips that don't have any proxies attached to them, and this one doesn't have um, any proxies attached, then we can just simply get rid of the clip. And the easiest way to do that and get rid of the file at the same time is to right click on the clip and say make offline and you've got two options when you choose make offline either the media files remain on disk but it's offline from the project point of view of the project or the media files are deleted and we're going to choose the second of these so i'll just choose media files are deleted and click on ok there's a warning that comes up to say you're going to delete it and you're not going to be able to get them back. Uh, so we say OK to that. And you can see now that that clip is offline and you can simply press delete on it and it's gone. So now that clip that wasn't used anywhere has gone from both Premiere and it's gone from disk as well. Now, one step further is required when the clip has a proxy associated with it. So in this case, just simply right click on it, go down to proxy and reveal in Explorer. So there is the proxy in a proxies folder. Before I delete that, I'm going to go back into Premiere. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to proxy again and I'm going to detach the proxies. So this will avoid any warnings coming up. So now that pro proxy has gone from the clip and you can see that it's not there anymore. We have still got the file open in Explorer. So I can just click on that and delete it. It's gone. Can close that window down, go back to Premiere. There is no proxy associated with this. So I can do the same that we did before. I can just simply make offline say the files are deleted, click OK, accept the warning, and then press delete to delete the clip out of um, Premiere's project file. So that's all that you need to do. It's just an easy way to make sure that you've deleted safely clips that are not being used, that you've deleted any proxies that are associated with clips that are not being used and that you're deleting them both out of Premiere and off the disk to save you disk space at the same time. So if you find that useful, please give the video a like and I hope to see you in another video.